Hello, this is Dr. Herndon. In this video, I'm going to show you an easy way to do a common type of medical calculation that you will encounter in the veterinary field and that you may see on the VTE exam as well. Um, often, you're asked to prepare a solution to be administered intravenously to a patient over a set period of time. Um, this is known as a constant rate infusion. Um, and you may be asked to calculate the amount of drug or electrolyte to add to a set volume of fluid to get a particular concentration to run into that patient. Um, the additives that you're going to add will either be um, dosed in milligrams in the case of a drug or in milli equivalents in the case of an electrolyte solution such as potassium. Um, for example, if you're asked to add 40 milli equivalents of potassium chloride to a one liter bag of LRS, let's say, I always convert liters to mil because it's easier to work with in the long run. And your stock solution that you have to work with is a two milli equivalent per mil solution of potassium chloride. Okay, so this becomes a calculation whereby you divide the total that you want divided by what you have mil. And in this case, the resulting volume is 20 mils of your 2 milli equivalent per mil potassium chloride solution added to your 1 liter fluid bag. Okay, if you add 20 mils, 20 times 2 is 40 milli equivalents. So that's fairly straightforward. Okay, but let's say that you have, instead of, One liter, you have 750 mils left in the bag. There's a couple of different ways to do this. You can do it as a ratio, so you know that you're going to be adding 20 mils of your solution to 1,000 mils, so that becomes X over 750 mils. And then you can cross multiply, and in this case, X will equal 20 times 750 divided by 1,000 equals 15 mils. So in this case, you'll be adding 15 mils to your 750 mil flu of fluids left in your one liter bag, let's say, and you still have a resulting concentration of 40 milli equivalents per liter, basically. Okay. So here's the formula that I'm going to have you use. Um, hopefully you can see it on the board. But again, you have the handout as well, so you can look at that while you're watching this video. Okay. So in order to calculate the number of mils of a drug or electrolyte to add to a fluid bag, you're going to basically use your drug dose calculation, body weight times dosage rate divided by concentration. So body weight in kilograms, dosage rate, the only difference is it, that it's in migs per kg per hour instead of just migs per kg. Or it could also be in milli equivalents per kilogram per hour. Okay, um, And then divided by the concentration. Here I have it in migs per mil, but if it's an electrolyte solution, it may be in milli equivalents per mil. Okay, Hopefully you can see over here. So that's the first part, and then you're going to multiply that times the total fluid volume, which is going to be the total fluid volume in your fluid bag, divided by the fluid rate, that's over here, which is in mils per hour, that's the pump rate that you're going to set for the patient. Okay, so, and then this will give you the number of mils of drug to add to your fluid bag of whatever drug or electrolyte like you're using. One thing I want to mention right here is that if you recall, Body weight times dosage rate equals dose. Body weight times the dosage, or the dose or dosage rate makes per kg equals the dose. So like, let's say we have kilograms times migs per kg, that's going to give us a number of milligrams. Um, in this case, you might see the, instead of the dog's body weight dosage rate, you may see something in milligrams per hour. And what that is, is the dose for the constant rate infusion. 
Okay, so if you don't see body weight and dosage rate, but you have something in mg per hour or milli equivalents per hour, that's your dose, and you're going to use that in this part of the formula right here. So let's try this in an example. I'm going to, you can go back and look at the uh, handout of the formula if you want, because I don't have the formula written on the board right now. Um, the question reads, how much morphine at 15 mg per mil would you add to a 250 mil fluid bag to deliver 0.2 mg per kg per hour to a 10 kilogram dog with the pump it's a fluid pump set at 10 mils per hour. All right, so let's look at this and pick everything out. Um, I'm going to start here. The 10 kilograms is the body weight, right? The 15 milligram up here is the drug concentration. Um, let's see. Down here is the dosage of the drug. 0.2 mg per kg per hour. That's a dosage rate of the morphine. 250 is the total volume of fluids or in the fluid bag. And then the fluid rate is 10 mils per hour. So let's just put them in our formula here. We have 10 kilograms of body weight times the dosage rate, which is 0.2 mg per kg per hour, divided by the drug concentration, which is 15 mg per mil. And then we're going to multiply that, make sure you don't go off the uh, screen here, multiply that times your total fluid volume, which is 250 mils right there, divided by the fluid rate, which is 10 mils per hour. Okay? So you can do that any way you want. Um, usually I'll just like do them out separately. I'll do this calculation and then do this calculation and multiply them. You can do it any way you want. Um, and your final answer, I'm going to look it up here because I don't have my calculator, is 3.3 mils of the morphine solution that you're going to add to your 250 mil fluid bag to run at this rate, 10 mils per hour, in your fluid bag to deliver the dosage rate of 0.2 mg per kg per hour. Okay? So really, I just pull apart everything in this... Um, question right here and stuck it into my formula to get my final answer. All right, we have another example here that I'm going to go over. Um, this one's a little bit different because you'll see that some of the values that you're given are a little bit different than what I did in the last problem, but it is essentially the same problem. I just did one step for you. Um, we're, so here's the, the question reads, you have an, an injectable calcium solution that is 30 mg per mil. So I know that's the concentration of the calcium solution. How much do you add to one liter of lactated ringer solution to deliver 4 mg per hour of calcium at a rate of 30 mL per hour? So I can see here that I have the concentration of our solution. I also have the fluid rate that we're going to set on that pump. Okay. And I have the total volume of fluid, which is one liter or a thousand mils. But what I don't have, I don't see the dosage rate and I don't see the patient's body weight. But if you remember from our drug dose calculation, the dose of a drug equals body weight times dosage rate. So in this case, they've already done that for us. They've already calculated the drug dose by taking the patient's body weight and the drug dosage rate multiplying to them together. The thing that looks different, it looks different though because it's in mg per hour instead of just in milligrams. Okay, because this is an infusion rate. So this essentially here becomes the dose. Okay, four mg per hour. So, but we can still plug everything into our calculation, but it's just a little bit different because now it's going to just be dose divided by concentration times the the total amount of fluid over the fluid rate. So what we have here is 4 mg per hour divided by the drug concentration, which is 30 mg per mil, okay, 
times the total amount of fluid here, which is a liter, 1,000 mils. I always work in mils, so I don't have to convert anything. All right, I'll make mistakes if I don't convert it ahead of time, okay? And then the rate that, it, that you're going to have your pump set at is right there, 30 mils per hour, okay? So in this case, I've already done the calculation, and we have 4 mgs per hour divided by 30 mgs per mil times 1,000 mils, total volume divided by 30 uh, mils per hour, that's your fluid rate, and this comes out to 4.4 4 mils of the calcium solution that you're going to add to your 1 liter fluid bag. Okay. All right, so I hope this has given you um, an easier way to do some of these calculations. Um, if you see a problem that is not just a drug dose, but also involves a fluid rate, like a pump fluid rate and a total volume of fluids, if you're using a fluid bag, um, go back to this formula that I gave you and try to see if you can plug everything in to come up with your answer. All right. Thanks.